Hi, my name is Chef Eric, and I am the executive chef at Mount Carmel East Hospital, and today I'll be preparing a spicy tilapia with lime. The recipe we'll be making today is a spicy tilapia with lime. Uh, this is a very simple recipe. Um, it's actually just three steps. Uh, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but it's uh, pretty much everything you would already have in your pantry. So first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure that we have our tilapia fillets laid here on the uh, sheet tray. We have them uh, laying on a bed of paper towels that way to, you know, to dry them off. Then we want to take a dry towel and we want to just pat them dry because these are going to get uh, pan fried. So we don't want any excess moisture on them that will cause a bunch of splatter or can possibly cause a, cause a fire. So those are nice and dry. Now what we want to do, we want to make our seasoning mix. Um, very simple um, Southwestern style seasoning mix. So first thing we want to do is we have a half a, table, a half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of um, cayenne pepper, you can add as much or as little of that as you like, uh, just depending on your spice level. Quarter tablespoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of cumin. One tablespoon of garlic powder. And finally, one tablespoon of dried oregano. This is a great simple spice mix to use on uh, many different dishes. It's gonna go great on your fish. It will go uh, great on any kind of Southwestern chicken or beef dish as well. So we have that in our bowl. Just wanna mix it up a little bit. Okay, now we wanna season our fish. We wanna season the uh, top and the bottom. Okay, let's get this last one. And after you season your top, you want to massage it in with your fingers, just so it doesn't fall off when you flip it. Okay, so I'll flip these now. And I will do the same on the back side. Okay. Massage your seasonings into the flesh. And these are ready to go. So while those sit, next step is we want to get our, we have a large saute pan here and we want to add a couple tablespoons of oil. I'm going to get that on a medium heat. We'll add our oil. The key to pan searing anything is you want to make sure that your oil is hot enough, make sure your pan is hot enough. You want to get it up to the smoke point just when you start to see ripples in the oil and, you know, just a little smoke coming off of it. That's when you're ready to go. If I put this fish in there right now um, with as cold as the pan is right now until it heats up, um, all the oil will absorb into the fish and then you'll come out with a soggy product. What we're looking for, we're looking for, uh, we're looking for color, we're looking for texture, and we won't get that unless our pan is at the correct temperature. So we'll give this a minute to heat up and just keep your eye on it. If your pan gets too hot, you can always take it off the oil and uh, let it cool down a little bit.
Okay, so our oil is uh, right where we want it to be. So if you look at your oil and you see little ripples in the oil um, and you start to see a little bit of smoke coming off of your oil, that means you're ready to go. So, you know, you just want to move it around so you don't have any hot or cold spots. Get your pan nice and evenly uh, heated. And we are ready to go. Okay. So the key when you're uh, pan frying anything is you want to um, start off on your presentation side, which will be your skin side. So uh, in the industry, we say skin side down. So this is what we mean. So that's gonna be your nice, uh, you know, your best looking without the bloodline on it. Uh, that's the side you want to uh, sear off first. So we'll put that in and you always want to lay the fish or whatever you're cooking away from you. That way it won't splash in your face. So we got a nice sizzle there. Also key is you never want to overcrowd your pan. If I put all these, uh, all four of these in that pan, it's gonna lower the temperature and it's not gonna give me the sear that I want and it's gonna absorb too much oil. Okay. So with something like fish, um, you know, when it, when it hits the oil in the hot pan, it does have a tendency to want to stick. Uh, the best way to um, get around that is, you know, don't try to move your fish, uh, your fish too fast. Um, let, it, let it sear for a few minutes and uh, it will naturally release itself from the pan. So, and plus you want to you get a nice golden brown color on it. And if you move it too fast, you will not achieve that. If you don't like tilapia, you can also use uh, any other white fish that you'd like. Uh, cod is a really popular choice. You can use whiting, or um, even if it's not a white fish, you can pretty much do this recipe with any kind of fish or poultry that you'd like. Okay, so I wanna check um, how I'm doing on this fish. I wanna see the color before I flip it. So just make sure you have a spatula that is big enough for the piece of fish that you're using. So I'm just going to get it under the edge, tilt it a little bit, just to see where I am. Okay, we'll give that another 30 seconds and then we'll flip. And as you can see now, the fish, it moves about the pan pretty easily, so it has self-released. We'll get ready to flip that. Okay, so you wanna get your spatula, get it completely underneath, and you wanna use your fingers and hold it while you flip. Be careful not to burn yourself. Do not touch the bottom of that pan. Okay, we have a nice color there. That's looking good. And I'll take our second piece. We'll flip that, perfect. Okay, you wanna let that cook, uh, finish on the other side for a few minutes. While that's finishing, I'll wash my hands, get the fish off of it real quick so we can prepare for plating. A good way to check the doneness of your fish is to just give it a little poke. You can use your spatula or, you know, if you're at home, you know, you can use your hand. Um, you just want to check the doneness of it. You know, um, you want this fish to flake. 
so it needs to have a little firmness to it. It should be soft, but firm at the same time. So um, a piece of white fish like this, tilapia, only takes a few minutes to cook. So I think we're good. As I'm pushing into it, it is starting to flake a little bit. So I think we're at a good point where we can go ahead and pull. Let me just check the sear on the other side. Get a plate here, I'll turn my fire off. Get under it, tilt it a little bit, let it drain. Set that on my plate. the excess oil, set that right in the center of your plate, okay? So this does call for lime, so what you want to do, cut your lime in half, and we'll be generous with the lime juice here, it calls for uh, one lime. Squeeze this right on top. Citrus is perfect for uh, you know all types of fish. Okay. Now we'll add some of our fresh apple avocado salsa right on top. And there you have it, spicy tilapia with apple avocado salsa and lime.